Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to finally my updated jewelry collection video. Like I promised this video for such a long time and I'm finally doing it, I'm finally filming it. been following me for a long time or a short time as well here on my Instagram you know that jewelry is such a big part of my personal style and I think what is the even big part of my personal style is the way I layer my jewelry so I'm gonna try to show you in this video not just the single pieces but how I layer them a lot of the pieces that you see every day on my videos and on my Instagram they are already in my previous jewelry collection video that I think I filmed last summer so a lot of those pieces I'm still wearing it daily which is quite a good proof of like the good quality of jewelry of the brands that I normally wear and also like I think that all of these pieces if you take good care of them they do last a long time so even the pieces pieces that are like slightly more expensive they're really worth it so what I'm gonna try to do today show you like different pieces or like the latest pieces that are added to my collection I'm gonna link down below or here like the previous video so you can still go and check more pieces in the previous video some of them I believe they're still online because they like classic pieces from the brands that I normally wear so it's gonna be a proper update today when it comes to layering for me, I basically, because as I said, I love a lot of layers. So I always have all my jewelry not spread like this, but like hanged. I keep them hanged in a hook. I basically start by putting on a lot of necklaces, like literally like loads. And then I remove what is overlapping. Does it make sense? So for example, now if I want to wear pearls, I go through all my pieces with a lot of pearls and gold, mainly gold. I don't really wear silver anymore. I used to, but, and it's not that I hate it, like, I do like sometimes a mix of gold and silver, but basically all my jewelry is gold. And then you see, I do have some space left here and here. So, what I love a lot, it is brands that have different, I'll show you an example, like that you can basically wear the pieces in different lengths. So for example, this necklace, there is like three different lengths basically. So I can close it here or here or here, and then I can use it in three different ways. This one as well has different lengths, so it's perfect. So basically when I get ready, I am quite fast at doing my outfit like clothing wise but then the jewelry is the thing that always takes me the longest so I need something longer and then you see what I do this one these two now are overlapping so I would either take this off or take this off so I think I'm gonna take off the big gold chain this is a layering so this is a sort of like little fresh pearls choker that you can again change the length so you can wear it as a choker but you can also like leave it a little bit lower. This is also a pearl choker. This is a pearl necklace with a shell. This one you cannot change the length so that stays there. This is a beautiful Bayalona necklace. I love it and there is a little pearl there and this shell necklace. That is very summery, but I really loved something like that from last year. Then I didn't buy it, I don't know why. And now this year I have two. I'll show you the other one as well. So this is a sort of like layer that I would wear. And then if you see these, basically this chain and that one are like real gold, very simple chain that I just keep it there all the time and I have a thicker one as well. This is the other color of the shell necklace. 
It is quite long and you cannot change the length, but I really like to wear them both together, I will show you. These ones go around, I think, 30 to 40 euros price point, so it's quite good. And then I have another one from Bialona with a big shell and some other charms. This is a bit of more of a statement piece, so I don't layer so much when I wear this one. And then more shell necklaces, so this is like a puka shell and this is like a fresh pearls necklace as well. This one is quite summery, while these, this is also summery, but I think you can wear it all year long as well, while this is just like a very summer holiday piece. And I have more here. The only difference I would say in the layering from winter to summer is the rings. So in summertime, because I don't know, sometimes it's too hot, so I tend not to wear so many rings. But I do have, I still wear it, but a bit like less or mainly in the evening. So I still have some new ones I can show you. And then the way I layer rings is again really similar to the way that I layer necklaces. So I always have this two is like my engagement ring and this was a ring that I um, inherited from my mom. It's like very vintage style, I love it. I think it was a present from my dad to my mom. Anyways, I always wear this and then on the other fingers I layer different rings and I wear rings in every single finger, like, I love it. So, basically, the way I do it, as I said, is the same as the necklaces. So I took all my rings, mainly like the latest ones that I got, and then I put them on, and eventually, then if I see that they don't fit together, then I just remove it. So, for example, this is one layering. These are from Wanderlust & Co. Quite like adding a little bit of color jewelry in the summer. And then this is the other hand. This is from Cezanne, this is from Boutique Minimalist, and this is from a Etsy seller that is called Shop Holly. I'm gonna link all of the pieces down below anyways, because I just think that today the video is more about the way I layer and the pieces that I love, because if I go through every single price point and brands, it's just, gonna get too long and maybe boring and then what I do in the finger that I have my engagement ring and my mom ring I do add some small rings as well sometimes because for example if I have signet ring this is the only ring that I wear in that finger otherwise it doesn't look good but then when I have like more subtle ring I do like to add some extra layers so these ones are both from Cezanne one and two. It comes in black, not in black, or in a poppy red as well, very cute. I'm gonna link them down below. And then I add it there. So this is the finished look of my ring. Next it is my wrist. So I have this Dior bracelet, wear it almost every day. Sometimes I wear it both on one wrist, sometimes it's like one each. Sometimes I remove the multicolor one because sometimes I feel it's too colored, but I do like it in the summer. The thing is like this, you can only buy in a couple, so because I like this, it was coming together with that. Now, I have these new pieces and I love them for summer, especially when I'm going on holiday because all of this jewelry tend to fade. You know, when you're at the beach, you have sunscreen and you're sweating a little bit and maybe you go into the sea and I don't wear this jewelry at the beach. I take it with me, sometimes I put it on a little bit later at the end of the day if we stay for a drink or for dinner, but I don't wear the gold pieces on the beach. I do wear the shell ones, so this one, this one, I have a golden one as well, like golden shells. This is the main pieces that I wear on the beach. And then these Cezanne bangles are quite good because obviously it's like, I think it's resin, it doesn't fade, of course. So I've got a big one and a small one, like this. And when I wear this on my Instagram, everyone is loving it. It's a bangle from Cezanne as well and it's like a shell. You can ooh, open it a bit. 
and put it on. So this is the way it looks, it's beautiful. And then, again, same way of layering. Put on a lot of pieces. This is a design bangle as well. It comes in many different colors. I wear this all year long and I love it. I love the cream one, but I think it comes as well in like in a sort of like turquoise and many like very cute ones that you can use for layering. And then I have like pearls bracelet. It's like elasticated. I have two of these. So sometimes I wear one, sometimes I wear two, and it's a very like summer layering. And then I have another bracelet that is very cute with charms that goes with the necklace that I showed you before. It's this one as well from Bayalona as well, very summer pieces. So obviously I'm wearing these the most at the moment. This is one layering of one wrist and this is the other layering. And now, because we are talking bracelets, I'm gonna show you a few more. Another layering on this wrist, so this could be another option. This is a bit more pricey. Can't remember the price by heart, but I know that it's more pricey than the other pieces. I'm gonna link it down below, but it's a very chic and more elegant shell option. Really like this one as well, like quite thick gold chain, and then you have a little golden shell and a pearl very cute love this one as well it's a bit of like pearls but like vintage you can tell i'm obsessed with pearls no and the thing is like i really love pearls already before they become popular and i think that this is something that you know is a trend in the past year but is also quite a classic like people have been wearing pearls like for much longer than it became a trend. So I think that if you really love pearls, you can keep on wearing them regardless of the trend. And this is what I will probably be doing because I really like feel that it's part of my personal style. This is the other wrist layering, so shells. And then this is also from Bayalona. It's very cute bracelet and there is pearls and like a thick, a chunky chain and a thin one. And then this vintage like pearls and gold and then the thick chain with the charms. This is it with wrists and now we do earrings. Next up is earrings. Now I have three piercings. Then maybe I put the camera a bit closer so you can see. These little pearls is the one that when I did my third pierce, it was like two months ago and it's still there. But Astrid and Mayo, they have little pearls, so I can link it down for you. Anyways, then I have all these Huggies and are my absolute favorite from Astrid and Mayo. And I normally wear little Huggies in the second pairs and these again. They are all slightly different to each other. And then I wear a bigger earring at the front. If I wear big earrings, I don't wear a headband because then it becomes too much but these are some that I'm wearing loads lately so it's like a chunky hoop with the pearl pendant this so I wear either one in each ear otherwise instead of the agi I wear like two together or I have this from Bayalona as well it's like hoops but very like uneven they're not really it's a bit like oval hoops and there is two of the same length and then one a little bit smaller and then or I have these big hoops from Astrid and Mayo I have these, these were in the previous uh, video as well lasting really long time, still loving them a lot these are new as well it's like Pearls, 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 and more pearls. I love it. And then this as well. It's like similar to the Bayalona one, but with the pearls pendant. Love this as well. And something new that I have that I love is this. I love it. It's like they're not real vintage, but they look very vintage. It's like a big, big hoop with like pearls pendants. This is so beautiful. I love this. But when I wear this, then I wear less necklaces. 
Like there needs to be a balance at one point, otherwise it gets really too much. And then you probably saw this on my Instagram as well. This is from a Nexus seller as well. Like one is the hoop and one is the heart. And again, sometimes I wear only one. Love it. And then I have only one pair of earrings that is with the clip. So in case you don't have holes, these are perfect. At the beach, love it. Again, this is the perfect beach earring because you can take them off easily. And then if I don't wear necklaces, I think this is a very good statement earring. Very summery. These are sold out on Cezanne, but now they do it like, it's like the same, but it's all like gold, beautiful as well. Very tempted to get those. Really like this, it's like a sort of like a huggy, but with a pendant. And this I like to have two in the same year. And then finally, because to be honest, I would like to have a pierce here as well, but I'm a bit scared because I've heard it hurts a lot. So I tend to put this on. And this, I get all of this normally from Astrid and Mayo, and I have quite a few. You see how it looks? I love this one, it's like a pearl, all pearls. And then I have this, which is like a multicolor one. And this is a plain gold. Love it. Because you don't need the pierce of this, but you know, it gives you a full ear if you want. because I want to show you another layering as well and some pieces that I wear by themselves so I have this chain necklace that is from another store is very affordable I wear this by itself because it's already quite statement and another piece that I wear by itself I love this is one of my most fam favorite necklaces ever so it's pearl with this big shell it's from a collaboration between Bayalona and Matches.com I think it's just so beautiful, so elegant, love it It's a bit pricey but I think it's totally worth it And then, so another layering that I really like is this piece So I'm gonna do the same as before So the first layering I did, it was like all about pearls so, and shells So I'm gonna try to do one mainly with gold so you can see the difference this is a choker but again it's adjustable so you can leave it a little bit down this is a necklace that i wanted for such a long time it's like a letter necklace made of little pearls i know pearls again but i promise this is gonna be the only one but i like it so much that i have to show you this is like it can be a choker as well but it's like quite little pastel colored stones, very cute, three different lengths and I'm gonna keep it on the middle one because I'm already wearing a choker and I think that if I keep it on the long one it's gonna overlap with the letter necklace. So this is quite of a dainty layering and then I think that I can fit something here or another choker. So I'm gonna try this golden shell very cute. And then I have, you see, I showed you the ring of this, but I also have the necklace in black. Again, you can do three different lengths, so I'm gonna try to keep it on the long one. So you see, like, basically, this way, of course I can do it because I own lots of pieces, but this, it's been building up all these pieces in like years and because it's quite good quality pieces like they don't fade so you can if you like jewelry you can just build it up and do the same as I did of course I don't really buy very cheap jewelry because I don't like when my jewelry fades and then I love anklets so I always wear anklets in the summer and I have one 
pearl one and another one so I have two pearls and clets I want to get a gold one as well for the holidays so I'm on, on the hunt for that and another accessory that I love it is I include it in the jewelry because it is from a jewelry web shop as well it's like um, sunglasses chain made of pearls like love it so much I looked for this since month and I finally found it and this is it really so ask me any questions I showed you of course the newest pieces but then every time I buy new pieces I try to show you in every like haul of vlogs but then every now and then I do like to have a um, updated jewelry video so you can see all the pieces layered together as well so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you get some ideas for your jewelry layering I'll see you next Tuesday with the next video that I think we're going on holiday, so it's gonna be a vlog of our holiday in Italy. Bye!